Welcome back to PhD Coffee Time. This is the online community for you as PhD student to get motivation, peer support, and practical tips during your PhD. Some of you may know from my other social media platforms that I actually transitioned as a medical writer. And as a full-time writer, I have learned even more about academic research because I'm doing that every day now, and that's the only thing I do. So today I want to just go back to my previous videos and just try to give you an even clearer overview on how should you read a research paper, how I myself read scientific articles, and how to do it effectively so that the document can be prepared in a quick and accurate manner. If you are new here, this is PhD Coffee Time. I make videos like this one every week to support you to get the most out of your journey. As a medical writer, I come across different subjects of research every week, and I must be really quick in learning the subject matter and writing about it effectively, citing the right references. Does it sound familiar? Because every one of you PhD students in the first year are similar to my role. But because I have done six years of postdoc and also four years of my PhD, I have a little more experience longer than you guys to figure out what is the most effective way of condensing information and getting through the writing task. So the first tip is Sotero. You can use Mendeley or Sotero, but I love Sotero because of this extension on Chrome. You can click one button and you can already store that paper under a collection of folders. Sotero has helped me to collect all of this paper relevant to my subject research. So if I have one disease research, I can have one folder created for the list of references that are useful. Second tip is, when you're reading the paper, remember why you're reading it. Sometimes you are needing this paper only for your materials and method. So maybe you shouldn't spend all of the time learning about another disease that is not really immediately relevant to your own research. It's very different when you're reading a paper out of curiosity versus you're reading that paper due to your research needs. When you're researching, you need to remember why that paper is relevant because you don't have unlimited time. You don't have unlimited energy. Your goal for the first round of literature review may be to save all of the references under a folder in a list. I put author date and subject as the naming system of the PDF. And then after you've taken a break, come back and read each paper, highlight what is supposed to help your studies. And I've already explained in this OneNote video about cross-referencing. The second stage of reviewing is I will put one line summary of why I downloaded this paper or why this paper wasn't downloaded to begin with. Maybe it's a obvious citation of the field. After that, screen out the really important paper to read it carefully. And if you need to learn how to read your favorite paper and how to write more like that one paper that is the most relevant, I've already made that video for you. Sometimes we all need to start from somewhere and we can't create new work from nothing. So I hope that other video will help you. But today, I hope this is going to give you a more strategic way to read and screen through many references in a short time so that you can find all the most important nuggets to put into your thesis instead of feeling lost and digging deeper and deeper into that rabbit hole. I hope this video is a good reminder of how you can read and write scientific article in a more streamlined way. Please comment below, do you like this type of reiterative reminder video? Because sometimes, I don't know about you, I need to listen to the same idea over and over to really get the most out of it. Research requires clear mind, intentionality, I really hope that you will start to read your paper more intentionally and curate a relevant list of references using the right tool and save a lot of time. I hope you will find this valuable to your research day-to-day -day struggle. Comment below what are the topics you may want to see from this platform, what are some previous videos that you found quite valuable and you may need to know more. I love to read them, so please comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.